Hi everybody. Um, back for another reading. So let's see. I'm gonna Palo Santo the space. Clear all of the energy out. So it's just us and the message. I hope you're having a very nice evening. that these messages are for the highest good of the person receiving whatever information they need please let it come through clearly and help remove any potential blocks that could be going on but more so welcome in abundance okay um Please uh, keep me posted um, on how things are going. Um, we did get a comment about uh, the music maybe being a little bit distracting. Um, I adore music so much and I really like it in the reading. Um, however, I definitely will do silent readings if I'm called to do a silent reading, but I have been called to have the music on. So please let me know what you think. Um, if you're new to my channel, I mm, don't always take pop-outs, but I will if I'm told to. I'm going to clarify a couple of these cards already. position right now where you're feeling as though maybe you have a lot of energy built up but you don't know where to put it you're working on figuring out where it should go if you're wondering what direction this should go in it might be a good idea for you to work with other people it's important when you uh, communicate with people that you're being swift with your words um,
lot of information coming from this deck. Okay, I haven't used this deck in a couple of days, so it's interesting. Okay, so working together with people right now to get this inner fire stoked. You have fire in yourself right now that needs to be put somewhere. Working with people will help you make that happen. You are evolving into the next state of who you are. This next state is probably going to be a little bit softer, I'll be honest. If you've um, been really intense in your spirit and, um, you know, being soft doesn't mean that you're being timid. Being soft does not mean that you're being timid. Softness gives way for spirit to come through. It's almost like when you're soft, your boundaries are a little bit more blurred, but that's not a bad thing, right? You still have, even though it's flowy, you still have control over what's happening. It would be good for you to be a little bit softer, work with people, work together, um, get more in nature right now. Um, prosperity will come from you honoring and being more in, on, in, in earth right now. In earth. I don't know if you're like far out of your body and doing all these things. Like be grounded and here on earth right now. I feel like you do a lot of um, chameleoning. If you're familiar with that, where you like when you interact with people, you take on a lot of their energy and kind of like become um, like them. It's good if you be more of your own person. Don't try to people please too much. So there is a certain seed in your mind that is pushing you to go towards something. Going to that place is a little scary right now, but you need to be strong because you're going to be just fine. you're gonna be a star at whatever you do. And as long as you pay attention to your connection with God, whatever God means to you, whether it's yourself or your grandmother or you know whatever religion you believe in or if it's, it's the grass outside or if it's your animal, um, connect with that. What's interesting in these pictures here are there are eyes here with crystals and shapes around them. You might feel like a lot of people are watching you right now. You might feel like a lot of people are watching you, all eyes on you, but there's a reason for it. There's a reason for it you have a lot of knowledge and a lot of um, wisdom beyond your years. You definitely protect your heart. It's important to protect your heart. If that's one thing I could have told myself, gosh, so many years ago. Protect your heart from those that don't treat it well. You are a beautiful flower, whatever gender you are. You are a beautiful and gentle being that must be treated with respect and the utmost sensitivity. Don't forget to have fun.
Oh, wow. <laughs> you should definitely be outside more. You need to be outside more. I don't know if you're into poetry. That's a little specific, but if you're not, if you're into poetry, getting further into poetry would be good. Maybe writing some poetry in the mountains would be nice. Writing some poetry in the mountains would feel very good at this time. I think there's a little bit of romance going on in your life, and if there's not, they will be pretty soon. Someone is interested in you. Um, they're paying attention to you. <laughs> Aww. You guys are lovers. Next. <laughs> Woo. So, someone's paying attention to you. The lovers are next. Uh, the roses. There's two roses here. A black and a white one. Don't forget that your heart is very important. Taking care of your heart is very important. And whoever comes through, they're going to know how to take care of your heart. And you'll know because they know how to take care of your heart. Aww. I don't know. Um, uh, this is going to be a very nurturing connection. I can assure you that. They're going to treat you like a gem. You're going to be fine being just in a room alone with them. Just their presence alone being in a room with you alone. It's going to feel like just being in a room with them is like being in the entire ocean and their energy just fills up. It's gonna be very nice. <laughs> oh dang, okay. Wasn't expecting to get here, but um, intimacy is going to be very nice. Soulmate. Oh, very specific. Intimacy is gonna be very nice. You're going to create something so beautiful together. You're going to have such an instinct about this person. It's not even gonna, it's gonna be so um, almost biological, right? Not like animalistic or like, it's like, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna take over you in a way that you weren't expecting. Sounds like fun. Oh, hmm. Uh, I'm just saying. It could be someone from your past, okay? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Could be. They're going to want to give you the world. They Yeah, the song is wow. Um the song is actually kind of perfect. This is a person from your past. So here we go. Um you have healed because of whatever pain they put you through. You have become the human that you are because of the pain that you have gone through due to this situation. They're going to be coming in with a fire that is going to be hard for you to resist. It's going to feel like home. You're going to be so overcome with emotion. What are you? What are you? You might feel reserved towards going towards this question and maybe you didn't even want to walk away to begin with. But the tables are turning. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Don't doubt your wisdom. I was just told to not even move forward until I was told to tell you do not underestimate your wisdom.
You are very wise. You just don't see it all the time. But people around you see it. You're very sturdy. You beat yourself up more than you need to. There's something that you're afraid of that you have to acknowledge. I would recommend that you have more color in your life. I don't know how your apartment is decorated. Um, I don't know what color clothes you wear, but at this time, it would be beneficial for you to pay attention to the colors that you expose yourself to on a daily basis. All colors mean different things. Red is, um, if you follow the chakra system, it's about safety and grounding. It, anyway, I digress. The full chakra system is filled with so much knowledge about all the colors, but at the end of the day, if you want to feel more bright, wear a yellow shirt. If you want to feel maybe cute and flirty, even if you're a man, right? Um, not to be sexist here, but some men do have an issue wearing pink. And, you know, anyway, that's a whole other topic. Color can impact your day. I'd recommend getting more color. And it might also be nice for you to start coloring yourself. I don't know if you've enjoyed coloring as a kid or if you enjoy coloring now, but coloring would be good for you. Coloring is going to bring up something that's going to like resolve an issue that you have right now. You're going to feel extremely complete if you color right now. This is love, but this is sad love. There's pain here, there's sorrow, there's, um, you know, they may feel like there's a heavy burden in this situation, but real, okay. Abundance is coming, even if you feel like you don't have the strength, or how could this possibly work out? There was so much problems in the past, emotions were so hard, but the love is going to overwhelm any judgment about what you could have regarding their ability to take care of you. The sun. This is like the most healing love. This is like deep love where can't stop staring at those ocean eyes is the words that are coming out of the speaker right now. They can't stop staring at those beautiful ocean eyes. This is deep love. And I'm, I end the reading here. I end the reading here. Just get ready. Day. Okay. I'm gonna put the card down. Get ready for this. Get ready. I'm so happy for you. Bye.